All the days is coming through, y'all. Take two. Okay, the boys of Brooklyn. We got that TV. We got that TV. We got that TV. We got that TV. If it's music, you know we got yeah, that yeah, interviews yeah. with who, with who, you know we, we got, got that yeah. About fashion, hey, you know we got that The video just drop it, hey, hey, you know we got that Hey, hey, you know we got that Shite's the voice of Brooklyn, <laughs> you know we got that Hey, you know we got that uh -huh. Anything you wanna see, baby, you know we got that Ratchet alert! Ratchet! Rice K, the Raise It Man. From now on, I want y'all to call me Step Daddy Quay. Shake it. Jack Quay! She got her hands in the air like where the money. Watch me do a magic with my wrist. Whoa. I'm about to slap a few bands on her head. Slim booty, big booty, let me see you drop it. Hey. Let me see your shakes up. Let me see your shakes up. Let me see your shakes up. Let me see it. My name's Jack Queen. I'm here to blow the bag. I ain't here to play with you. I love the way you dance. Do that stop, drop, move. I seen you on the ground. Got me saying no damn. I'm a fan, I'm a fan. I wanna see you work here. Yeah. Hold your back, touch your toes. Hit the flow, kind of pole. Get your dough. Let them know you a pro. Let's take it to the school so I can hit it in the bowl. I'm a dog, room, room, girl. I love what I do. She got it. Boy music, bad boy, Trey Songs experience, man. We here, locked in. We got that. Yo, it's your boy, Trey, the voice of Brooklyn. You're now tuned into another episode of We Got That. I got my man, DJ. You already know it's your boy, DJ Taxi, the Weekend Wild Out Mix King, aka the Brown Ranger. No shits, man. So you feel me? Yes. <laughs> you had to say that. And if you just tuned in, my man sitting all the way to my right needs no introduction. But we're gonna introduce him the right way anyway. Multi platinum, super producer, the Amadeus. Bless <laughs> Platinum Boy's own CEO, man. Good to be here, man. Good to be here, man. Good wow. to be here, man. I made it. I made it. I gotta give respect to this man because the man set out and he said, yo, this is what I'm gonna do, and you did it. Yo, no hassle, no nothing. Yo, you are so humble, and I'm just happy that you're here. It's the best here. way to be, man. It's the best way to be, man. I'm glad that we'll be wanted somewhere. You know what I'm saying? You know? But I am going to put this out here. I am oh. a little ratchet sometimes. Okay. So I got to put my disclaimer out there. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So, um, so how was your week? Tell us a Good. Bit. Good. Busy. Hectic. A few interviews. Uh, I did Bronx Net, because I'm, I'm from the Bronx. So shout out to everybody two different the Bronx. Yeah. The Bronx Net uh, this week. Just all over the place, man. A lot of, a lot of music, a lot of records. 
you know, in order to be successful, man, you got to make sure your business is on point. You know what I mean? That's so, a fact. Like, sometimes you got to step out of the studio for a little bit. You know, be online. You know, check these emails. You yeah. know what I'm saying? Follow back with these callbacks. Make sure contracts are being done. And that he does properly. <laughs> oh yeah. So, you know, and that's the thing. And I, and I always say that, you know, to all of the uh, up and coming artists and, and songwriters and producers, man, like you're, having your business on point is very important. That's it's not exactly. just about you know making heat all day. Like sometimes you gotta. <laughs> Step out of the stu- studio, step out of the booth. That's a fact. Turn the equipment off and, and make sure you understand the business and know what you're doing and then stay on top of it. That's a fact. I yo, love- your bio is long. <laughs> like, yo, he sent me a seven page bio, my dude. That's like the edited. Yo, let's crunch it together. And, I, and I'm pretty sure it was, because I was like, seven page yeah, bio, dude. And I was just like, and. And you know, sometimes, I ain't gonna lie to you, I don't read past the first question. Right, no, right, 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 right. But I was so interested, I was like, damn, he did that? Damn, he went hard? What? <laughs> A lot of people don't know. Tell them how you got started. Um, wow. Well, just in music in general, you know, I was, I was, my parents loved music. You know, so I was already sur- surrounded with music growing up. You know, we had a, we had a thing on Saturdays called cleanup day. <laughs> like these youngins don't know nothing about that. But every Saturday we cleaned up the crib. One Saturday my pops had the ready up, <laughs> play what he wanted to play. Joe so, Jackson. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> next day my mom. Next weekend my mom's had the radio. She played what she wanted to play. And they just rotated. So every weekend I got to hear just all type of all type of genres of music, man, from hip hop to R and B to classic to mm. rock, to, you know. So I just always surrounded by music. So fast forward, you know, they uh, sacrificed, sent me to uh, Catholic school. Fourth grade, I was able to learn uh, instrument, which is drums. Fell in love with it, started playing drums everywhere, all of the bands, growing up in high school, everything. And then just thought I was gonna be a rapper. Definitely gonna fast forward I thought that, that story. <laughs> uh, you know. It's not as easy as it's nah, supposed to be, but. You know, a, a family friend of mine, yeah. he's actually a producer, uh, Buck Wow. Um, was like, yo, man, why don't you be behind the scenes? I don't know about this rap thing, man. Like, you know why I respect him? Because he told you. Nah, he told me like, yo, listen, that ain't it. That ain't, that it. ain't your lane. Yo, that day, he was like, you should produce, man. I was like, well, what's that? He said, like, well, that's you know, making the beats, the music. And I was like, from scratch. Like, like, yeah, like, I don't know about that, man. So I remember like trying to make beats, and I was like, hearing all of the songs uh-huh. that was out. I remember the bust around the dude. That was there. You go. See. You, I knew you was that guy. Yo. You was that guy in the lunchroom. Yo. You know what I'm saying, yo? The yeah, crowd going to start beating. With the grinding beat, doing You get the pin. Tick, tick, oh, yeah, make the little. Real. T- 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 yeah. It was real. That's so, dope. You know, after after making about 100 beats that sounded like everybody else's, <laughs> I, I, I figured out the, you know, my, my niche and, 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 you know, just kind of like just kept working, kept working, kept working, right. and developing my craft and really understanding. You know, production and music, and you know the technicalities that it comes with, and all of the theories, and just putting everything together. And finally, they came together, and, and you know that was man. I was in high school making beats. Um, first placement, Foxy Brown, "Credit to the Grave" soundtrack was the t- actual title track, um, and then she had a disc record called "Get Off Me," which is you know which I have I brought both actually, uh, where she was getting at uh, Eve, and those were my first two placements. So one. I was excited about the soundtrack. Go see the movies, see your name in the credits. Hell yeah. Song on the album, first placement, you know, the, the joint went gold, sold 500,000 copies, first plaque on the wall. But then I was shook because I liked Eve. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> and I'm like, yo, so now I can't work with Eve Like, you know, because Foxy wanted to go crazy on my beat. You know what I'm saying? So, so you know, once, you know, being surrounded by, you know, OGs in the game, and like, listen, man, you ain't write the song, man, you're cool. You just did the beat. You know, you know, like in this industry, a lot of people, because you associated with the song, mm-hmm. they be like, nah, I would never do nothing with you because, but like you said, it was But sad. now, I mean, now it can get a little tricky because I think, uh, I forgot who it was and I don't want to say the wrong, I think it was like my sis Remy when she was going at Nikki, mm-hmm. and I think 2 Chains had did a record and Nikki got on the record. So, Rip, you know, Remy was like, you yeah. know, she, you know, her and Pap, you know, rock with 2 Chains. Yeah. So they're looking at 2 Chains, like, you let this happen. I heard and he, that. You know yeah, what I'm saying? It's like, yo, yeah. And at the end of the day, you know, I, I get I get where she's coming from. It's like, you know, you didn't write the verse, you didn't, but you you know, you know, you, you know our relationship. Well, and you, yeah, you allowed it to happen. But you know what's the difference, though? 
He's a rapper. He's an artist. Right. So he took place in the actual writing of his verse, even though he right. didn't say nothing about her. Right. So I think that's a little different for you. Yeah. yeah right. Yeah, because like, you have nothing to do with it. You make the beat. They just go, oh, that's the joint I want to rock to. Right. You know what I'm right, saying? Right, so right, 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 you right. can even sell him that beat way ahead of time before exactly. they even write. Exactly. So him, he was li he had to listen to what she said and then take part and in the that. proof. You got yeah. to prove it right. <laughs> So I, I, you know, I get which at the end of the day, technically he didn't have anything to do with it, but you, you in the mix, you were part of the, you were on the yeah. record. It's right. your song, right? Like, yeah. like you say, we got this new Foxy, you know, you go crazy. And you got this new Foxy Brown, going crazy at he ready to drop all this, it's gonna be nuts. And I'm like, you know what I mean? We got the city on smash. Yo, Sixty bro. minutes of funk flex, Yo. yes. <laughs> Run it back. Yo. So like you dropped it, I didn't know whether to be hype or like Us. nervous, <laughs> like. Damn, it's hot because you know it's on the radio. I'm on the radio, but then it's like, but I like Eve. Like, I like Foxy, I like Eve. <laughs> so, yeah, that was my first experience. And ever since then, I just kept, you know, pushing forward. What was your, ex like, after that, that dropped? Have you seen Eve, like, after that? And no, like, I don't know her. I, I think, I'm trying to think how I met her. I think I might have met her in passing once, but she don't know. <laughs> he was she was like, like, no, I'm not that guy. Yeah, I don't know who she is. Like, I know. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> so nah, I never really, you know. But I was always close with Swiss. Right. Oh. You know what I'm saying? What did he say? Did he no, say? No, no, no. You know, I was a youngin, so I didn't, I didn't meet Swiss till years, years, years later. So they probably don't even, you know, they ain't they ain't worried about that no more. You know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> y'all gonna be sitting one day, he gonna be like, Yo, I heard you. I'm gonna bring it up. Bring it up. <laughs> be like, Yo, I should bring it up one you. time. That's gonna be a little conversation. Right. Word. <laughs> but what what is it like? Like you said, Foxy drops this mm -hmm. mixtape and it's a diss record. I know you nervous because it's a diss record right. of somebody you respect, but what is it like? What was it like the first time you hear your song oh, man. on the radio? Like unbelievable! Like I couldn't because you're so busy screaming and yelling. <laughs> like, right. You know, thank God Flex kept bringing it back because the first, the first pass, I didn't even hear it because I was just going wow. nuts. You know, what you I'm know saying? he gonna like, play it twice, oh, yeah. like back to back. It's going crazy, man. It's just like you know when you when you put something together as a creative person or as a creative individual, like. I made that in the crib, man. You know, I'm right. in the living room making that. Like, you know, it, like I ain't got no studio, I ain't got, I ain't got no board, I ain't got no speakers, I ain't my headphones, keyboard right there. Hell, Jermaine you Capri can do it, you can do it too. You know, so it's 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 a to see your work out there to the masses is, is a blessing, and you know everybody's listening, not everybody, but you know the, the world is listening. Flex was one of the biggest DJs at that time growing up, and still is, but back then it was even bigger. Right. So it was, it was just a moment that, you know, obviously 17 years later, like, I still ain't forget. You know and what I'm saying? the funny thing is, like you said, right now, you have an actual skill in drumming, mm -hmm. right? You play a live instrument. Right. And a lot of producers, and I'm not trying to play anybody, right. but a lot of people who don't play live instruments, they go behind the Fruity Loops right, and right, stuff and right. they get to work like that. How, how, um, how necessary is it with the drums, the actual live drums? Mm -hmm. Is it for you to make beats? Like, is it really necessary? No, I, it, it just it just gives me an advantage musically. Mm -hmm. You know, what I can, what I hear, I can hear it differently. You know, I you know, this like me being a musician, drums, playing keys, it's like it's different. And like you said, it's no shots to anybody that that's not a musician because right. there's some great producers that are not musicians Facts. but just have a great musical ear. And then you'll meet musicians that are incredible that doesn't have an ear for production. Like it's two different worlds. Mm -hmm. So to be able to merge too is is, is pretty dope, and that's why. Like for me, you know, with the residency that I have in Dre's at, at the in Vegas playing at the club, I play alongside the DJ. So, you know, as he's spinning, I'm I'm just rocking. I'm playing dope. And it's kinda like a cheat because I'm a producer. Right. So I know what they're gonna do before they do it. Like he's, you know, segueing into another song and I'm still playing because I hear what's coming in and I know where <laughs> So it's like it's ill to really see. No rehearsal, never practice it, just got on one day, the owner of the club is like, Man, that's incredible. Like, you wanna mm. we'll do this? And I'm like, why not? You know, so it's definitely an advantage that you have to just just being musically inclined, whether you That's taught, right. whether you self-taught. It just adds to you know what you're able to do creatively. Well, you one of those kids like now you got the drums. Like I always refer people that play drums like to Nick Cannon, right? You see how in school he he just went right. left. Right. You know they tell you to play something, but then you like man, you gotta spice this right, up right, a little right. bit. Were well, you one of those? Absolutely. <laughs> how many times did you get in trouble? You know what, if it's hot, you can't get in trouble. Right, you know what, I'm saying? Like, what was that melody? Do it again. If it's hot, you know, you can't get in trouble. So, you know, one thing about music, man, there's it's no rules to it, you know, it's, it's, it's freedom of speech, basically, to me. So, nah, I never, you know, I was I was like the teacher's pet, or, you know, growing up, you know, musically, because it's like, oh, I'm, but I'm a dance on drums. And I was just Antoine at the time, I wasn't even on dance, but, you know, put Antoine, put Thompson on the drums, man, so. 
first freshman on the senior band. Like I, I wow. going into high school, um, I didn't even. I went to Carnal Hayes in the Bronx. I Shout wanted to out. play ball. I'll tell you what happened. I'm a class clown. Wanted to play ball. Got in trouble. Um, you know, on a day of tryouts, I had detention. Mm. Went downstairs. Late trials already started. I crack a joke. I'm already late. They in lined the up. I crack a joke in the trials. Make everybody laugh. Host turned around and said, who did that? Everybody was silent. And you know, kept it on it. <laughs> Dude. Dude was like, yeah, I don't want you on my team. Really? Le- like, got kicked out of the trials, bro. And like, drums been his thing ever since. Oh, yeah. <laughs> so so then, I didn't even have a band. Mm. So I'm like, yo, I didn't get band. This is not like this. I came here for music. I came here for ball. I was on the way. I was supposed to go to social studies. Didn't go to social studies. Went to the band room. Knocked on the door. Went up. I said, I'm supposed to be here. Class. I'm like, nah, I didn't give this class, but trust me, I'm supposed to be in the band. And now it's like, I play drums. Just like that. And, and he's like, and he's like, yes. He's like, well, come back. I said, no, 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 no. I'm going to do it right now. Ah. So now it's a senior's band is in. I'm a freshman. It's, they going nuts. Laughing, I joking. Look at his tie. Look at his pants. Look at his shoes. Going crazy. So one of the dudes is like, let him play. Let him play. And they all laughing. Sat behind the drums. So they wanted you to make a fool oh, yeah. out of yourself. <laughs> Sat down on drums and then I played into it. Dropped the drumsticks on the floor. Took fellow picking it up. <laughs> you know, trying to fix it, act like I could fix it high hat. And you doing it on purpose. Balls. Movie. I was like, yeah, good. Yeah, go, go. Went <laughs> nuts. Nuts. And they catch you ever Yo, nuts, bro. Teacher was like, so I, I know what I you know, you know, you know how you just finish him, stand up. I said, can you write me a late pass? For <laughs> social study. And he's like, no, 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 no. Yo, yo, late pass. Wait, who cuts class yo. to go to another class? Yo. And, yo, and then tell the teacher, I'm supposed to be. I'm supposed to be. Yo, I said, write me a, can you write me a, he was like, sure, sure. He was like, no, no, no. I want you to stay right here. Because we're going down to the dean's office right now. <laughs> so I stayed in trouble? band class. I knew what was happening. Stayed in band class. Then I went to social studies. I, so he called over. <laughs> <laughs> Told him I was in his class and he was like, I'll explain later. Class is over, rushes me downstairs to the Dean of Studies and was like, I don't know what we gotta do. We need him in band. Wow. Next day, they did whatever they did. I was in band. Senior band. Did you walk in cocky though? You walk know you gotta walk in and be like, mad cocky. I'm here guys, like. Mad cocky. So that means you was mad in cocky. band all four years. Oh yeah. Damn. Senior band, like running the, like senior, so, so that day, you know, I'm a freshman. You ain't right. Getting, you you getting clown? I was the man. Right. That the dog. man. Yo, yo, money, yo, shorty, right there. Yo, on drums, crazy. So now I'm walking to the bus, to the train station with all the seniors, popping, <laughs> popping. What is your? What do your parents think about that? Yeah, at they, this they, was, they loved it. They loved every bit of it. Wow. Because it was either it was either ball or music. You know what I'm saying? I was okay. Boy. I wasn't crazy. Like right. my hand was. It was crazy. My shot was terrible. My, but I'm gonna I'm 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 make you fall, and then I'm gonna pass it. <laughs> like, oh, no, no, no. all right, yo, yo. <laughs> I'm gonna make you fall with it. And they used to always joke on me, like, yo, man, you gonna do all that, and they gonna pass it, bro? Yeah. They're like, yeah, I just wanted to make you look stupid. And That's make it. You fall and then pass it. Yo, sharing is sharing. Yo, we gonna come back with more Amadeus right after this. So y'all sit back, relax. We are gonna find out a little bit more about who he's worked with and how he got to where he's at today. So with that being said, DJ Tazzy, take us on a short break. Yeah, 
have a man, me no care Me take any time anywhere You know I'm never take anywhere And you're not for say cause me eyes away Him a weird one, yeah Him always in your way, right? Him always go left, never go right Back up your bumper, make it feel right Got me in me bag, feel me real nice You know that it's easy to stay Cause there's no other girl in the way Hey, they told me how much it would take But I don't see no one in the way Hey, I swear that we started this way And I won't let them take it away Hey, you said you have no time today But I don't see you walking away So can't let me go, yeah Wrap my arms right around you Y'all, it's your boy Shice, the voice of Brooklyn. From we got that TV and we got that radio. Make sure you stay tuned because we're going to be doing a lot of events right here on 14th Street Sports Bar and Restaurant located at 3085 14th Street in Astoria, Queens. We got the hottest bartenders. We got the best food. So make sure you come down on 14th Street Sports Bar and Restaurant located at 3085 14th Street, Astoria, Queens. Yo, so make sure you come down. Tell them Shy sent you. We got that. So we back. How different is music now than it was before? You know, like it seemed like back then it was harder to get into the music industry, right? But now, if you make a dope video on Facebook, Instagram, listen, you a celebrity off the back. Right. So, how do you feel about that? I mean, it's it's, it's technology. You know, at the end of the day, it's technology. You have technology. You have social media. So, there's a lot of different things and outlets. Uh, you know, um, where you can put your own music out. You couldn't do that before. You know, you had to actually press CDs and spend a lot of money doing that. Now you can, you know, go to TuneCore and right. upload your music to TuneCore, pay a fee, and, and, and it appears on all of the outlets. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, definitely, definitely a lot more easier, uh, way more accessible now for all of the artists and producers to kind of like do their own thing. But do you feel like it hurts music? Because here's my thing I'm not mad at anybody who makes success off of it. You know what I'm saying? I think it's actually dope to see people, but I miss the A and R thing. You know what I'm saying? When somebody had to build you and mold you into a great artist, because right. nowadays you see these artists, they one hit wonders because I don't think the guidance is there. You know what I'm saying? Like when you had the A and R, they kind of molded what they needed out of you and made you a, a performer or whatever. Now you just see people just yo yo yo, I'm rapping, ah, and I'm off the stage, and I'm like. That's you know, it's a different day. Like even you know, when I was listening to the music that my mom and dad played, mm-hmm. where you know they were they were band, so it was a live band <laughs> in the studio, like creating those songs, like and they played it until they got it right. So I did myself. They can't just stop and press a button and make it press delete. Like everybody had to do the whole song all over again. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So every you know again, everything is is easier now. Everything is accessible, uh, and you know with that is pros and cons. Just like you know back then, I'm sure when they was in the studio, like. 
we, we got if the song was seven minutes and we had a you know six six minutes and forty five seconds and the dude played the wrong note. Now you gotta play that whole thing again. So you know it's, it's pros and cons with with, with each and right. everything. Um, in regards to like the artistry, like we was talking about, like artist development, you know. The artist development kind of came from different places. You know, you had some A&Rs right. that did that job. You had some A&Rs that didn't. You know what I mean? You had managers that understood it. You right. had musicians and producers that were able to help. You know, but nowadays a manager is your homeboy. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, you my man. Like, yo, you my homeboy. Let's go. Let's and go I get it. You know, and and I get it. It's, it, it again, pros and cons. Pros you know what I'm saying? Because you have situations where that's that's the that's what it is but then it, it, they, they become successful and then right. you know it's, it's it's with somebody who you know it's somebody who you came up with somebody who know the struggle so the struggle can appreciate that and then you guys belong together and then you know and then sometimes you have the issues where the, the disloyalty comes in and, mm-hmm. and fame and, and different things gets people ahead and people start getting crazy and then they bump heads and then split so you know but that can happen and the good anyway, can happen and the bad yeah. can happen you know what I mean so you just gotta you know move forward and, and do the right thing and do as best as possible and see where it goes so you were drum let's get back to that I'm still <laughs> stuck on that right i wanted to know were you like nick cannon and like did you say yo i'm about to be in the drum line like i want to go to the dirty south and i want to hit the drum line did you think that you were going to do that um i didn't know all the bands that you know they had i didn't even know i just wanted to play mm. so once I got into class, you know, like I explained earlier, they had jazz band, they had, you know, jazz ensemble, they had um, the marching band, they had parade band, and it was like, you know, what, with what I displayed, you know, to the teacher and to the class, like, I didn't even have a choice. Like, oh no, you're gonna be in everything. <laughs> wow. So like, I, I played, you know, at the parades on- But on that's the a band, talent. Like, you know. That's, that's dope. Yeah. Like, they didn't, they didn't give you a choice. And yo, back in the days as a kid, you know, you look like, yo, you're gonna give me a choice. Like, right. you're not gonna be hard on me, you know what I'm saying? Nah, but then no you choice, know man. that that's when they believe in you. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Because they're like, no, you're gonna play everything because you have the ability right. to do it. So, like on Drumline, like Nick Nick Cannon was playing the snare. Right. So, I was, you know, I played the snare, I played the tri tom. I was just shaking my head like, okay. so, nah, so, the tri tom. <laughs> yeah, you gotta walk around with the heart. Oh, so gotcha. Three, gotcha. Three different drums and three different notes. So yeah. I played that, snare, I played bass. Of course, you know, when we did any, you know, concerts at the school or whatever, that did the full drum kit. So I was able to play everything. Kungas, you know, xylophones is, is, is under, you know, the percussion family, you know, rhythm, xylophones. Uh, so, man, whatever, whatever they threw at me. I, I was the dude that as we're walking down Fifth Avenue, because, you know, you, like, when you're playing the parade, you know, you, you'll play like, say, for instance, three songs, three songs, you'll stop, you know, walk a block, take a break. I'll be like, all right, we'll play that now. Oh, you know what I'm saying? So in the middle of the joint, like we switching now, I'm getting on that. I know people had to be like, yo, he getting on my nerves. <laughs> no, nah, but he it was, was, it was too much. But you know what though? There's a difference between, you know, being gifted and talented with something, but then having the right spirit about it. That's... You know, I was never like that dude that's like, you know, braggadocious or, you know, you know, cocky. It was more of like like a little kid just wanna I just wanna have fun. I'm gonna oh, I wanna, I wanna play those. Like so it was it was a really innocent love for the craft. No, not so we just show out. You know what I'm saying? Like it would be the band and my colleagues that once we saw another band, like yo, yo go, yo go battle them. I didn't be like yo, go battle them. They was like yo, go battle them. I'm like nah, nah, <laughs> man, nah. And then dude say something over there. I'm like what? Oh, got it. Let's go. Do it. Do it. All right, cool. Let's get it. Go to the middle of the field. Face over the little drummer. Oh yeah, man. When did you feel like? Like what? Like when did you say this is really what I want to do for my all for the rest of my life? Great question. Um, I was in high school. I was in high school, and it was funny because you know I was forced into the drums. I didn't really touch on it because I was absent on the day that we was able to choose an instrument. Mm. I was sick that day, and it was funny because my mother ain't never, ever, 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 ever <laughs> let me stay home from school. But on this day, <laughs> it's cool. It was Mom, on drum day, really? You know what I'm saying <laughs> I wanted to learn how to play the trumpet or the saxophone. Mm. Did you ever learn that? No. <laughs> That's what I really wanted to learn. I know how you feel, B. I wanted to learn that. I wanted to learn that. Yo, moves, huh? I wanted to learn Yo. that, man. So, <laughs> I, I, I bet I ate that one. Did you? Man, so the next day when I went, <laughs> there was two instruments left. Violin and percussion. Yo, I didn't think violins could even be as popular as it was. You, you know, back in the days, you say violin, you like, you think uh, oh, yeah. classical. Soon as they said it, I was like, no. So, <laughs> 
from the hood, bro. Like I'm from the Bronx, and I'm from 169th and Washington. Where the hell we playing the no violin? Way. At? I'm walking oh, yeah. through the. I'm already dressed up, so I'm all, I'm already with slacks, shirt, pants, and tie on. So I'm already doing bad. I'm already a target. I know so that. So now I'm coming through with the violin case <laughs> with that. The slacks better had came down over your ankle. You better oh, have yeah, high I, had, I, had, I didn't have high waters. I didn't have high waters. But with, white shoes, brought, yeah. with white socks. With white socks. The shoes was crazy. The, sh- the shiny joints, but if I kicked you in the knee, you was a rat. <laughs> Two days later, walked into class, opened up the door and was like, okay, drums. Never touched drums, nothing, right? So, you know, that you know, teacher says, let me see what everybody got. Sits down, pull the white man, sits down, plays the groove. How much y'all play? They call the groove back then. <laughs> play the groove. So, everybody stumble, drop us to the boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Sit down. See? And he was like, you can tell he a drum because oh, you yeah. know how to be. <laughs> you know the whole body just was like, he he really thought he was at the drum just now. He was like, I'm surprised you didn't get the brrrr. Yo. <laughs> what do you listen to? Like, what is your genre of music that relaxes you at this point? Man, um, I'm really moody. I'm a moody, even a moody creator. I'm very mm. moody. Not not in a way where like like that, but just more of like vibe and energy. What do I feel like today? Mm. Like so today, um, I pulled up Kim Burrell. Mm. Who's a god, you know, who's a gospel artist. Yeah, I don't know. Check show. it out, bitch. Oh, they don't even have that show no more. This, right? Sunday I know they have it, right? They don't even uh-huh. have it no more. Yep. She's but dope. She's though. one of the illest vocalists of our time. Like, you know how they have like Aretha Franklin. Mm-hmm. And, you know, and she like, don't get a lot of credit. Like, well, she, she, she. No, let me not say that. She's no, really big, right, but she's not. Like, if we didn't see Sunday's best, I don't yeah, think a lot yeah, of people yes, would yes, know yes, who yes, she yeah. was. Right. No, I agree. And I she agree. is like, she's behind almost everybody. Yo, you know what I'm saying? She's a ill. She's who, you know, like this generation, like our generation, mm-hmm. Beyonce's, the Brandy, Monica. Right. Like, she's who they look up to. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like they, they all, you know, they give props to Aretha Franklin and all of those other female singers. But if you think about it, that's really like in their parents' time. You know right. what I'm saying? But for our generation, Kimberell, if you don't know her, research her. Like yo, so I listen. I was listening to Kimberell today. But again, it could be I, I listen to soundtracks. I listen to scores. Um, uh, you know, I, you know, when I'm in Vegas, you know, it's a different, it's a time difference. <laughs> yeah. So I take a nap <laughs> before I go to the club. I don't play at the club till twelve thirty, which is three thirty mm. out time. Mm. You know what I'm saying? So you, I'm playing drums at three thirty in the morning. And that's why, yo, we had to get him here like today, cause yeah. we was me and him was talking. We oh, set yeah, up yeah. a schedule. He was like, I threw out a date. He was like, you know what? I don't think that's gonna work. Um, right. You know, I do a residency in Vegas, and yeah, I was like, going every weekend. Yeah, so he was like, "Yo, let's do it." I was like, "You know what? Let's yeah, do it." I told you, yeah, <laughs> thanks for coming because I think you already had somebody locked in yeah. too. And I was I, but like, you yo. know, it was cool because I had to tell him I was like, "Yo, you know, I don't mind. I don't never reschedule nobody unless okay. it's like right. you have right. to." You know what I'm saying? And I don't tell them that they can't take it. I just ask them. You right. know what I'm saying? I'd be like, right. "Let me see. It. Can you reschedule?" And who was that? Who was that? Um, some blood in it, man. Today the twenty. Today's what the 18th. Bum Today was Bum Rush. Shout, shout out to Bum Rush. Yeah, man. shout out to Bum Allow Rush. Me to come in and you know. Yeah, so I you Bum know Rush. I just had to reschedule and they was fine with it. And Dre, shout out to Dre and uh, Jay, they co-create okay. Bum Rush uh, web series. Shout so it's definitely them, dope. Blessings, blessings. Shout yeah. out to all of them. So you know I was, I was like, oh okay. Yeah. So I was like, yo, I gotta get. And I'm and I'm talking to everybody. I'm like, yo, I gotta get on the dates. Yo, first of all, that the <laughs> promo that y'all created was. You know, hold up, hold up, hold up. Yo. You know. You saw that video, bro? I was like. Yo, listen. Let me tell you this. Yo. This is my passion. Right. You know, my nine to five is how I eat. I yeah. love what I do too. Right. Right. Because I also do motivational speaking like awesome. that. Awesome. One of the things that I do at my job is I create programs and I also do teaching on gang violence, bullying wow. and stuff okay. like that. So I try I go the whole city and I go to every school. Bless it, man. And, and that's when I get humble. Okay. So I realized that when I want to talk to people, I can make people laugh. Even when I'm upset, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. that relaxes me. Right. You know what I'm saying? Right. Every time, and people be like, yo, do you write this stuff down? I'd be like, nah, right. yeah. I can't. Yeah. Right. I'm not a writer, mm-hmm. I'm not a, some people say, yo, you should be a comedian. Cat Boogie, Cat <laughs> Boogie always say, yo, I'm gonna get you on stage. I say, no, I don't want to do right. comedy. Right. Cause I'm funny when you don't expect me. Right, yeah, it's just the natural. It ain't right. playing, it ain't rehearsing, it ain't scripting. If you pay to see me, 
Right. You want me to make you laugh nonstop. Right. I can do that if you don't expect it. Mm. But when you sitting there and you expect like, yo, make me laugh. Right, like you wait, right. And then some dude sitting in there right, and right, like, right. Why, why, why did the chick cross the road? <laughs> <laughs> you know, I don't want to be that guy, you know? So I, that's not my thing, but I just like, like I said, I respect you. You do so much. Yeah, got right? it, man. And it's funny because we ain't even touch yet on who he's worked with, but I want to get into motivational speaking. How do you get into motivational speaking? I mean, it, it, for me, it wasn't really like planned and like kind of what you were saying, it wasn't really planned, it wasn't really scheduled. It was like, okay, I would end up in places, whether it's you know, here in New York or whether it's me traveling on tour and, and be like, man, is there a school nearby? You know what I'm saying? See, this that's awesome. Is there a school nearby? All right, cool. You know, put me in Uber, let me go to the school and just to empower and lift up, you know, those students wherever they are and just kind of like encourage them to, you know, live out their dreams and keep chasing. Oh, I got to get you to come to the school. Oh, yeah, I think that's, I'm passionate. Like you said, man, ain't nothing written. It's just, you know, you pull like, what do you want to say? I don't know. It's on, like, the, the vibe. It's like, I, I feel off of, I vibe off of who's in the room, who's in the building, what I feel is needed. Like, everybody don't need the same thing. Mm. You know, so for what I said to this school, or well, these students may not be the message in the world that they need. You know, they Yo. just got to. Oh, I'm so happy you said it. You know why I'm happy? Because that's what I hate. Um, I go to different schools, right? And I talk to people. Mm -hmm. And sometimes you get people like the grown-ups. And I'm talking strictly to grown-ups. Right. They go, yo, how come they listen to you, but they won't listen to me? Do you take the time? And my thing is this. You have to come to their level. Mm -hmm. And they go, well, I'm an adult. I'm not coming right. to nobody's level. Right. That's your problem. Right. I don't care. I'll put my flaws out. Mm -hmm. I will act like an ass to show these kids right. that I'm on your side. I'm just where right. you're at. Right. You know what I'm saying? And then that's how it, it is just that simple. Yeah. And people be like, well, what's the formula? There is no formula. Right. Be you. Be real. One thing I know about kids, they can sense if you're oh, real yeah. or not. Oh, yeah. Immediately. Immediately. Like, and I'm sure, you know, with, with the speaking you've done, like, you, you have people that, that, that talk out of turn. You have the disrespect for you. Oh, know. yeah. And, 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 and the way, you know, we handle them and I handle them, it's like teachers being the back, the little nurse and the principals. And then when, it, when you're done, they're like, like I, I was like really going, like it was one kid. I was like, but you know, respectful, mm -hmm. not making them, you know, not, you know, being, you know, raunchy and right. nice, respectful. And you tell them something, something. I said, oh yeah, so we, we got a funny guy over here. Right. No, 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 no. Oh, he, he ain't make no songs for some song, yo, 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 you really going in. He got no money he ain't, so then, so then you gotta, so then it's like, you gotta, you gotta step out of character for 5.5 seconds. But how you step out of character right. is the key. Right. So you know? I, you know, in that moment, in that joint, I was like, give me two minutes, give me like, maybe three, right? So let's, I said, you know, it was, all right, so let me just deal with this, let me just deal with him. Uh-huh. All right, so you said I don't have nothing, right? So you said I ain't got no money. All right, cool. It took me an hour and a half, you know, yeah, you gotta get it. It took me an hour and a half to get you because I left my house. Not my building, not my apartment, my house. And I pulled up the driveway, cool. So where am I driving? Key on the game. <laughs> That's what I'm driving. I don't got the key. What, what is that? 750 outside. White. <laughs> then, then he starts. Then, then you know, and I'm humble. And then for that that day, and you got to do it for these kids, man. So yeah. that day, I had on stupid jury. But just tough day. Yeah, because you don't know where you was at. Right. <laughs> <laughs> it's fun. <laughs> tough day. <laughs> Yo, I'm a day of snuck in. Yeah, he got like, here, yo, hundreds of thousands on his neck. He was like, not here. Let me see. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad you, listen, man. Be tough. Let me look at the, let me look at the, let me look at the viewers. <laughs> Try to be tough if you Try to be tough if you won't. Try to be tough. Oh, I'm, I'm, I'm going anywhere. All right. Hey, there you go. You young were wrong. The little, yo, them little youngins uh, be on their load. Yo, this nigga. <laughs> Rolexes and all that. You fucking about to leave in 15 minutes. You outside, 30 dudes. Wait, you ain't winning that one. And I was in one school. I was in Philly. You buddy. <laughs> Shout out to the kids, man. Do it for the culture. Do it for the kids. Yo. Super producer is your title. Mm -hmm. And I'm proud to give you that too, as well. As now, a, I was about as to say, patron. give it. Give no, it. yeah. I'm, 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 Listen, I'm, I'm, as a person you. who loves music, you definitely earn that title. Thank you. you worked with over 80 people, mm -hmm. uh, different celebrities, not 80 people. Let me say that. Right. So we talk about top, top. celebrities. Everybody. Like, not everybody he's top dealing celebrity. with now or in between. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? We talking about hits that you done heard, to name a few. Trey songs, Busta Rhymes, Jennifer Lopez. Yeah. Yo, the list goes on. Yeah, yeah.
like how does that make you feel man just one more grateful man like you know it's, 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 it was all the idea you know what i'm saying it was a it was a That's thought it, it all started like, with yeah, it was like a thought idea like yo man i, I want to be just i want to be you know my back then for me like puff man i i that dude still it's like just look up to this dude everything he did i'm just like man i do that i do this i do that and just that whole bad boy movement so everything every, if, you, if you look back to what i've accomplished like everything I've spoken to existence as a young, like mm. everything, like everything I'm doing, I said, you know, people laugh, people joke, people, you know, clown me out, and I, I took that and used that as more vision. I said, I'm going to be, I'm going to be, I'm going to be a bad boy one day, like, you know, I'm going to be with, I'm going to go, I'm going to work with Jay-Z, you know what I'm saying, I'm going to do this, I'm going to be on the road, be like, be touring the world, and everything I said, you know, not just by just saying it, like, you got to say it, you got to do it, you got to do it, you got to put it into action, like, I, I graduated from school, Went to went to Mercy College for two months, um, and and the only reason why I lasted that long because I didn't see the studio. So, mm. so the studio it was in it was in White Plains. So the studio, I was like, can I see the studio? I see the studio, and the joint that was in my living room was not even the studio was better than what they had. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm today's my last day. Went right into the, the dean office and said, today's. He's like, man, I can't. Your dreams can come true. You just gotta apply it. Mm-hmm. And I tell people, even when you get kicked down. Right. You gonna get kicked in the oh, face. Yeah. This industry don't care about you. Right. But what you make it is how you're gonna mm-hmm. succeed. Mm-hmm. And watching you and like, yo, I was like, yo, like when I was like, and this is before I met you. When I first heard I'm this, I was like, who the hell is I'm this? Right, right, right. right. Like, who is that? But then you don't. A lot of times you don't know who the producers are. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And then I was like, oh, he did that. Oh, oh. And then you like, yo, now I know of you. Aha! Uh-huh. Aha! Uh-huh. You should have hit the uh, the button, bam! You know. Uh-huh. So now you know of him, and I'm like, yo, you're like, see, producers to me are like artists. Now you like, 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 <laughs> you gotta go to the delay on it. You know what I'm saying? I knew he was gonna do it. The way he least expected. Yeah, I knew he was gonna do it. But oh, oh, oh! I made it. Erica Ocean is in here. I made it. Oh. But did you bring the water, Erica? I can't say. She don't got the key. Erica, did you bring water? No, I didn't bring the water. Sorry. Yo, we got the nights all situated, all messed up. Fine. Yo, come on. See, I'm not staying home. I'm not staying home. Popped up on you. Yo, what the hell? So I take it you got your call. Yeah. I got it. She got told today. Yeah. So. You got to take the bus down there to go. go no, go, I took a Uber. Ooh, she got, oh, you got money. money. You got told. What you, what you, you did? So what happened what was, happened across was. the street from my building is an abandoned old gas station <laughs> that everyone uses for parking. Oh, 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 I see what this is going Everyone. So the one time I decide, hey, I'm going to park in there. Because I always said I'm going to go park in there because I feel like one day they're going to come and lock up all the cars and take them. Went to see Black Panther last night. At least you got to do that. So what happened was, because the weather was bad, I took I took an Uber to Jersey. Mm-hmm. Popped the car downtown Brooklyn, hopped in an Uber to Jersey, took an Uber back to the car downtown Brooklyn, and then drove home. There was no parking. Two o'clock, two, three, almost three o'clock in the morning. So I said, you know what? I'm going to park in this parking lot tonight because I'm not driving around looking for parking. And look what happened. You was waiting to play. <laughs> yes, he was. You was waiting, right? Right, right. He sent me the number so I can call it. You ain't sent me the number. I didn't say the number. I didn't hear it. I asked he him. Said he, said he, he, said he said if you want to call and speak to Amadeus, the number I'll is. I'll be quiet because I don't want to get in trouble. I'm a guest. <laughs> <laughs> so I can tell you don't play no games. How many times did we say be a leader, not a follower? You did. You did. I did. I did. Yeah, you did. said. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. <laughs> what, what happened? I ain't even laughing. Hey, yo, hey, 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 Erica, first of all, I want to be. Talk about Erica, my Erica, look, I'm first not of even all, laughing. Hey, sweetheart. I want to be the first to say happy belated Valentine's Day. I don't give a damn about Valentine's Day. You talking about my forehead? I heard you, no problem. He did. He I'm said you had a five head. You I didn't you. say nothing. <laughs> I just said yo, who's this wait, ball is in yo, the room. Like, but if y'all don't notice, I don't yo, if y'all don't notice, I don't care. Like, Amadeus is like this, like, the more we talk about her forehead, you know, his eyes go. <laughs> like, we're not gonna this talk about that more. No problem. That's why yeah, she, listen, listen, man. Right there. Oh, wait, we got a new desk. We done moved up in the world. Yo, wait a minute. 
Yo. So all this happened when I'm not here? This Yo, is what y'all do, rearrange Yo. around the church. You didn't hear us talking when we were setting up on live. I can't hear you. I said, said Yo. I said in your seat. I said you can't fit over there. Yo, but I said, yo, look at this, like. <laughs> You said I was. You can't fit over here. My forehead and your stomach match. Let's go. Turn oh, yeah. yeah. my back. I don't want no partners. You know what I'm saying? They both yellow. Nice to meet you. Hi. How are you? Yeah. I think your forehead is beautiful. Thank, Thank you. you. I appreciate it. Oh, uh, 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 come on. Uh, uh, all these uh, shots, but y'all didn't compliment her on her eyes. Yeah, no. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah. I know how to cheat. I mean, nobody give a damn about her eyes. <laughs> You see, you see my eyes. Only reason why you gonna come up the first. I'm smart. Let me live my life. Let me live my life. Yo, the only reason why you even gonna come in her eyes is because you hang around singers all day. You know what to do. No, no, no. No. What works for them don't work for me. I have a lot of brains. I'm smart. I see. You was always ahead. You was all. Look, you was always ahead of the class. This ain't gonna get no better. How you doing? Good to see you on that night. I'm good. Yo, you know what? Erica's here. We can't ask the question now. What's the question? Uh, you know the question. What's the oh my god. <laughs> Hi, uh, Brandon, uh, yeah, Brandon. Uh, oh, so I'm gonna dance. Wow. And it's only right. You know, this wow. is just gonna be so shut up. So, um we had a question here and it's kind of become our number one question here at We Got That. Let's just say you go out, you're on a date, whatever. Go to the bathroom. You gotta do number two. Something ain't agreeing with you, right? There's no way possible you're making it home in a private bathroom. You have to go to the private, the public bathroom. Mm -hmm. You get in there. You know when you get down there, pop! You pull your pants down, but you look as you in mid squat and notice there's no tissue. What do you do? In the whole bathroom, or just in the my stall? In the whole bathroom, there's no tissue. What do you, you don't do? tell me? He, he made that, man. No, no, no. Oh. Wait, I don't know what you gonna do, and then I'm gonna tell you what he did. No, 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 no. No, you, you got it. You have to do it. You already you have, you have yeah. to make a decision. No, right. you already committed. You down there and it was like, oh, you, you, you already went. committed. You, right. went. you went. went. There's no, you can't. Yeah, you, you didn't went. notice that the tissue wasn't there. You I'm went. on a date, though. No, what, no, no, Whatever. No. You can just, all right. Let's just use up on a date. You know, I'm just showing you how I would think. If I'm on a date, I would have to text a young lady. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Listen, saying, wait, yo, I fucks with him. We because, have a situation. Uh, right. right. Well, At least that gives This is going to tell whether we can, we can even wow. stay in contact with one another. Because <laughs> <laughs> you're not willing to sacrifice for your kid. You got to go. You got to go. So this is a perfect opportunity to see where you stand <laughs> in my life. <laughs> so, all right. Let's just say. Yeah, that's a bad situation. All right. So now you're not on a date. Okay. You by yourself. Mm. What do you do? And I went, like I You but, went. You already See, it's hard for me. Alright, all right, this is another side I'm a dance in the world. And I don't even shame. I go to the bathroom every day. Number two. In the mornings. I, I, about 25, 40 minutes in the bathroom. That's where the hits come. I'm not saying where it takes that long, but that's, I got Instagram, you know, I check some emails. So it's, it's wow, extravaganza. Oh, yeah. So it's an extravaganza in the bathroom for me. I don't care where we are, I don't have a problem going. Wherever we are. Right. Airports. Restaurants, <laughs> amusement parks, Yo. studios. No shame in my game. When I gotta go, I gotta go. January 30th. Oh, you an Aquarius. Yes, ma'am. Yes, special. Oh, your birthday just passed off. Happy belated birthday. Happy belated Thank birthday. You September 7th. I'm Happy a Virgo. Birthday. Happy birthday. They've yeah. been picking on you all day, so we're going to get <laughs> But yeah, so 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 you can't ask me this question because I'm a professional. Use a bathroom. Okay, okay, but you don't have. So I'm gonna check before I do. Before I no, 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 I gotta no, check. No, 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 but you can't. No, you can't. No, you, you can't. Check. You can't no, check. no, no, you on a roll. Listen, you on a roll. You on. keep adding to the story, man. No, no, no. Listen, <laughs> the story. Here's the story. Bottom line, and don't try to change and make another thing. Listen, Listen you gotta go. Your stomach is going like you can't hold it. You at the point where your butt muscles you can't clench no more. You know what I'm saying? So you get to the bathroom and it's going down. Like if you don't sit, it's coming out. You sit, you look, you say, damn, ain't no tissue. Nobody around do? nothing. No, what do you do? Shh, I don't mind. I want to go ahead and take my pants off. I'm a creative person. So go ahead, I want to hear it. Take my pants off, I have to use my boxes. <laughs> no, I, 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 I use my boxes, you use some throw them out. It's gonna be a little uncomfortable <laughs> even <laughs> more. Don't worry. <laughs> Listen, man, she might that shit. But it's I all right. cannot leave. <laughs> I cannot leave the poisons of the world <laughs> in that area. In your no, I can't do it. So, look. <laughs> so, you said you would take your boxes off and you would wipe your ass. This. I gave a pound, right? Yeah, you did. That's disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't 
Queen, Queen, Queen's having hands, hands, hands. Oh, this is the restroom. Hands, see, see. Yo, so what happened was, we asked our DJ that, and he said, <laughs> Yo, wait, look. And I'm gonna wait. Look, do it on camera. Right there, yes. Bless your heart. Bless your heart. Yes. Yo. Yes. So, now you gotta you gotta give him the Black Panther right, face, yeah. you know. Yeah. So we asked DJ Tazzy, look, right on camera it comes up. So DJ Tazzy said he was sitting and let it dry. So he is walking out with shit all in his ass and he's gonna smell like that. So that's well, why. You know it's never gonna dry. <laughs> It's a, I'm a damn a professional. It's never gonna dry. Cause you know how like I forgot what movie it was. <laughs> Along came Polly, Ben Stiller, and other dude. He passed away. <laughs> and he said, "Man, he said I, I farted a little bit of shit came on, so he called it sharted. He sharted. <laughs> We've all sharted. <laughs> and with the shark comes a long process of just having that wet." <laughs> I, you know, like, I, I dipped myself in the pool, but I thought I was going to drown, like, a little oh, feeling. Oh, shit. So you wear that all day. <laughs> so is this, like, his personal stool, or, or like, this No. Shit no, no. He, uh, well, we don't, I don't see Wait, when, when, when was this, though? <laughs> <laughs> I might ask for a, might ask for a, that's a whole nother. It's a long time. Okay. It wasn't Wait, that. Hold on. Yo, no, but check this out. Let's go back. Because he said that he never did that. Remember? I never did. Now, you just said you did it a long time ago. I thought you meant what was that when I answered the question. Oh, oh my no, God. I'm talking about the, 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 the start. No. Oh, no, 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 no. He no, definitely no, did. No, he I definitely did. No, he definitely did. You let it dry. I never let it dry, man. You can't. That was his answer to the question. Oh, he said you never. Okay. That was his answer. That was my answer. He said, no, no. But let me. But we're taking it as. Okay. We're taking it as with an answer like that. That means you. He did it. He before. did it. You know. And so because he answered. What's, what's no, the difference between my answer and his? No. He took he, he, he used took his action. Draws. He, he used took action. I'm going to stop giving pounds, man. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to be like, you know what I'm Yo, not even yeah. like, nothing. <laughs> I'm practicing the ancient Chinese. <laughs> I, I was in Mexico in the suburbs, <laughs> in a vacation, and they, they all go. <laughs> so I'm starting that. We're going to have a Black Panther. As a matter of fact, it's a perfect time. Black History Month. My brother, <laughs> Talk, you work with so many celebrities. Who is one of the toughest and the easiest person to work with? Like, who did you sit in the studio for hours and go, you ain't never gonna get it. <laughs> you ain't never gonna get it. I don't know. Well, well, see, here's what saves me. <laughs> Technology saves me because a lot of these songs, mm. especially the new ones, you know, they're doing it on their own. Mm. You know, like we did uh, nine records with Chris on the record on the Full Moon album. And he cut everything that way. And when he says Chris, oh, yeah, Chris he does Brown. mean Chris Brown. Chris Brown yeah. yeah, yeah, that's that's my the catalog. He's my friend. Yeah, see, I need name base. I need I need friends like that. Yeah. I, need, I need friends like that too. I gotta call him Mr. Brown. Yeah, Mr. Oh. Brown. Uh, what up, Chris? <laughs> but now, what I will say is Trey Songs is a beast. Like he records himself, he engineers his own sessions. So he has to do it. Sets up a microphone just like this, and he's writing, like recording. I can cut his vocal and turn it around. And like, I, I've never seen anything like that. Really? Nice. See, that's something people won't know right. unless you're there. You know never. what I'm saying? Like, like I was sitting there, like, oh, cool. Like, kicks the engine out. Like, if you're not fast enough for him, he's like, like so if Has not, he ever kicked you out? No, I'm not injured. So. Oh, well. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> you gotta go. Get going. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, it's not in a negative way, it's just like you're not moving fast. And he gets it, and then when he sits down and starts going, and engine is like, oh, all right. So, what's the tour life like? Like, I see you on so many tours. Like, you know, you're with uh, Trey on the majority of the tours. Oh, yeah, I'll, yeah, I'm, I only tour Trey. I'm oh, you only tour Trey? My bad, Trey. So, how did that, how did he say, yo, I need you to be my drum? Yo, we was in Houston in the studio, working with Mike Jones. Oh, yeah. Mine Jones. Yeah, I knew he was going to do it. <laughs> Mine Jones. That's the only thing people can remember him for, though. He's one, you will love him. Mike Jones? The most humble dude. Mm. Probably the most humble dude I've met. Artist wise. He All definitely right, has so, to be so, humble. So, so you, you, met, you met him, right? Mm -hmm. Now, I know this is going to be a dumbass question. You, you, no, you, no, you, questions play. Play. no questions. No questions. Nah, play. No questions. You play. No. Right. no, no, you don't know him. Right, you so don't know him. Don't, don't ever say that again. No, no, listen, I'm a dance. If you ever say that again, I'm gonna have to hit you with the dumb shit. Don't ever say that when you don't know him yet, okay? 
Alright, so look. Yeah, he did say that. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so I mean, look, right, back in the day, it is dead. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I was just warming up. <laughs> I'm, I'm glad. How many people do you think really tried to call his number? Yo. No. This is Longfield? No, 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 no. I wrote Longfield. 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 No, 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 no. I remember no, 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 no. reading about that. No, it was real. It was real. Yeah, yeah. I remember right, reading cool. about that. I ain't never called it. That was the answer. Yo, I ain't never called it. No, you. No, actually, it's actually smart. That just sound like somebody. He showed me bills, like five, six, seven thousand, like for that phone. Like what? They know what and people yeah, just call it. He, he, he probably wasn't it. thinking that people really was gonna think right. of the real no. number. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Duh. Was. Your Trey songs. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Did somebody hit the dope shit? For, for, for what? My man called it. Please. Why? What happened? What He's happened? not Trey Songz. He's Mike Jones. Oh, oh, we don't even tell my. Wait, 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 and this is also for that big forehead of hers. Look, look at the camera. Let everybody see that big ass forehead. And she got that little bun. <laughs> the bun on top. It's mine. That's that flat bush bun. It's my hair. That's a flat bush bun. You from sure. <laughs> It's mine. She from flat bush too. Wait, wait, wait. Before she goes, so cause she get money. <laughs> Y'all heard the story. She said I parked in Brooklyn, took an Uber to Jersey. Yeah. To got your Uber back from Jersey. To but we don't we don't get that money. We don't see that money. I'm trying to figure out. It wasn't out which even a lot of money. To get to Jersey, huh? Although oh, no, going to Jersey, the Uber was eighty something dollars. Why would oh, you? Yeah. So why would you just say, hey, get, yo? First of all, you can put gas in your car. <laughs> and I, know, I, look, I know when people get money, man. I try to put it on the spot now. See, now we should take a donation. <laughs> my travels. Yeah. How much is it coming back? Forty five dollars. Oh shit! Let's just see a movie. Yeah, Black oh, Panther. I want them to send you a letter. <laughs> yeah. You should be endorsed by Black right. Panther. You know what I'm saying? You need to get a car them. in the a black a Black Panther car in the mail. Just just the, <laughs> all the actors and actresses are saying thank you for your contribution. Yo, yeah, we're gonna take a short break and we're gonna come right back with more Amadeus. Shakes the Boys Brooklyn back. We here with our special guest, Platinum Boys Own. Amadeus is in the building. Yes. Yo, thank you so much for joining us today, man. Love, man. I ain't gonna say like I'm always around you or whatever, right. but when I see oh, you, me. Yeah, me. you, yo, he was like this. Let me tell you when you know you got a, a real humble dude. When you first text him and they go, yo, peace, king. I, like, oh, my God. I was like, he want me over right there. I was like, yo, peace, bro. Like, <laughs> just make sure yo, like, you know. And like, you was just like, you hit me up. You was like, yo, I'm good. Like, here's my address. Like, what's, your, what's the address or whatever. No matter what, you seen the video. You hit me back. Was like, yo, that's dope. Like, yeah, I was like, fight. okay, was cool. Bad. So I was <laughs> like, like, the company at ease. Like, right. and people was like, yo, did you talk to him? Is he sure he coming? Right. I said, yo. I ain't gonna lie to you. I ain't stressing him right, because right. he gave me the impression like, mm -hmm. yo, he's coming. Right. If I don't get a like, if I don't get that vibe, I'm always on the phone like, yo, are you coming? Like, right, 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 don't right, make right, me look right. bad. Like, I, I, I can't and do this. Like, it would have to be. It has to be a real like valid reason for me. To, I mean, like valid, like not for me to not, not show up. You know what I'm saying? And then. I don't do the whole not totally. saying nothing. Like communication is everything, man. So like it's, it takes nothing for me to say, listen, brother. Like some came, you know, some came up. Right. With apologies. You know, but for me, it's, it's more one being professional, two being mindful. You know what right. I'm saying? It's like I don't know where y'all coming from. Y'all could be coming from anywhere. Y'all here? Y'all 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 made this day for me. That's why even last night, because mm -hmm. you know, like sometimes you'll have different, various artists on the show. Mm -hmm. You know, so I'm like, well, do I need to come at you know? Do I need right. to come at twelve? Or See, and that was one? the thing. Like, you know, so. And he's like, when you was like, nah, this is for you. And I was like, all right, so I'm, I'm going to come back 12. Yeah, you know what I'm In this business, you know, men and women, like, you got you know, to keep your word, man. Yes. And yeah, keep your word. And, and like you said to, you know, the brother, like, you know, your name and your brand is everything. So, and I always tell my lady, like, man, if, if I feel like if I can't make something or, and you got to have, you got to have the right support system and the right team Facts. around you as well. Because it's easy to be like, yo, I feel like, oh, bro, you should go. Nah, like my lady is like, nah, well you told me he was coming, they gotta fly like she's like she's that. You got a right. flyer, you got this is they, they, your name is out there. Like if people you, you gotta understand it, gotta know that. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because it is. And you don't want people to put that on your name and you bring your ideas, you know, he, we booked him and he didn't even show up and but like what if you didn't have to come to the show? Like right. so you came over here, everybody sacrificed, you traveled. I'll tell you this, you know just like your name it like 
this is my brand. Right, right. You understand? And like I tell Tazzy, Tazzy's watched a lot. My brand has come a long way. Mm -hmm. And it has taken a lot of trials and tribulations. Yeah, so you started from big ticket in the basement. You feel me? In my basement, right. dead serious. Right. Like I used to, and then I had to look at like, yo, I don't have, I don't, I'm, I'm the person that don't have people in my house. Gotcha. You know yeah, what I'm saying? Yeah. Unless I know you. Me too, me too. And even then, yeah. we gotta have something. You just can't yeah, come to my house. Same way. You know. So I was having people come into my house, and I didn't feel right about it. And I was like, yo. Matter of fact, Ski was one of them. Like Ski was the last interview at my house. Yeah. And you know, and it was just like. Yo, I have people that I don't know coming in my house. And that's my place of sanity. Yeah, what man. if I piss you off? Right. Now yeah. you know where I'm at. Right, right, right. So I was like, you yeah, know what? So I'm done with the thing at the house. So then I went to the barber shop. I was in the that's barbershop dope. studios. Yo, uh, shout out to them. Yo, so I was just moving. Yeah. And I tell them, I went to co-hosts, I went to DJs, I went to partners. But at the end of the day, I'm still here, yes, and it's gonna be me. Right. And, and I'm not no disrespect, but no, I tell no, everybody no. that that's your name, mm -hmm. and I work hard for it. Right. No how, matter how big you think it is or how mm -hmm. little you think it is, it's me. Right. And I'm always gonna give 100, percent and that's right. just who I am. So that's, you know, how, that's how it's supposed to be. You know what I'm saying? Like you said, it's your brand. Like having your own artist is different. You know, it's, it's a total different thing, you know, me producing records for the artists that are already out, already have their brands and, mm -hmm. and things together, like French and Chris and, you know what I'm saying, all these people, but right. it's a whole different grind, it's a whole different beast when you have your own artist. So definitely shout out to my yeah. team artists, Captain D-Mac, Five Boy Maestro for doing their thing, Uncle Mike, uh, JB, Ebony, I mean, the whole PBM team, Tip, Slim, Trim, and everybody that that that, that gives a helping hand, that, that supports and, and, you know, everything that we're doing. Shout out to all of the listeners up and everybody yeah. watching. Shout out to the team, your team that's here showing love and support. Thank you so much. Uh, love, man. Let people know how they can uh, follow you, get in touch with you, listen Definitely. to music. Definitely. I'm on uh, Instagram, Amadeus PBM. Uh, Instagram, Amadeus PBM, A M A D E U S PBM. Uh, Platinum Boy Music also on Instagram. And we have our uh, Music 101 College Tour on Instagram as well. So Music 101 College Tour PBM. You need a host. He's still going. Look, blah, 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 blah. blah, blah. Um, producer Amadeus on. Twitter, uh, the website www.platinumboymusicworldwide.com. We out here, man. I try to, you know, I try to respond to everybody. You know, it's getting a little crazy. If you got a picture of a sexy woman on your profile pic and you got ten followers, listen, I'm not following you back. Exactly. And they all guys, no, I'm not doing that. You're not <laughs> hacking into my account. All right. So all you hackers, get the hell off of my Facebook account. We up out of here. I'm Shice, the voice of Brooklyn. My man DJ. You already know what DJ Tazzy the weekend while I mix King aka that Brown Ranger, you heard? AKA shit nasty. And yeah. thank our special guest, Amadeus Platinum Boy Records for yeah, coming bless through man. today. Bless man. Man. Shout out to everybody out there. Keep doing your thing. Keep pushing for your dreams. Don't give up. Never give up. You can do it. We did it. You can do it too. Black Panther. Let's go see that. Let's go support our culture, our, support our people. We doing history with that. Yes. Making history, history with that, man. So I ain't seen it yet, but I'm on the way. And uh, everybody have a blessed day, blessed weekend, blessed week, blessed year, blessed year. All that good stuff. We out.
But what I'm supposed to take them down? What kind of jerk is you? With my energy low, I get a search from you Listen to some of your verses, whoo, brother You still inspire me from the other side Even from the grave, you still have for the reason that I'm a beast I am gon' be Best rapper alive, since the best rapper died Heavy's the torch, but I got no choice, I'ma have to shine In this book with me, but fuck it, you still inspire me from the other side. Even from the grave, you still have for the reason that I am a beast. I am gon' be best rapper alive since the best rapper died. Heavy's the torch, but I got no choice, I might have to die. 